dramatically improved yields, lower fertilizer costs, stronger, healthier crops. Since 2015, Fertiback products have been the preferred fertilizer of farmers across the globe. Our synthetic E. coli system detects low soil nitrate and produces nitrate only when needed to ensure perfect growing conditions while preventing over fertilization. And as one of the earliest synthetic biology technologies on the market, you can be sure that Fertiback has gone through the most rigorous of safety testings. It's no wonder that 98% of farmers said they preferred Fertiback to the leading brand of traditional fertilizer. Celebrating 15 years of excellence, Fertiback, your crops are concerned. We've just received a report from Singapore where a further 12 people have fallen victim to the blindness epidemic. The outbreak has been traced to rice imported from Thailand, where a chemical spill has contaminated crops. Affected crops have been destroyed, and many countries have banned the import of Thai rice, although according to the WHO, rice secured from other areas is safe to eat. The public are reminded to watch out for early symptoms, such as fever and nausea. The EU has today approved a ban on imports from Southeast Asia after a WHO investigation found that samples of rice crops from Laos, Cambodia and Vietnam have been contaminated with the toxin associated with the blindness pandemic. The investigation was launched last week after dozens of new cases appeared in Europe, having previously only been associated with the Asian continent. The results of the investigation revealed that the toxin originates from a mutation in the bacteria used in the popular synthetic fertilizer Fertibac. It's also been found that the safety mechanism preventing transfer of Fertibac genes, known as GeneShield, has been degraded. The toxin-producing genes are now spreading to wild-type bacteria, although it is not currently known how far this is spread. It's uncertain why the mutation has occurred, but scientists believe that this may be a result of the Thai chemical spill combined with a record heat wave and high rainfall. The European Synthetic Biology Council will be meeting later today in Amsterdam in order to discuss the best course of action.